In fact, the way they were, were wearing bullets all over, shooting in kaka 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 kaka. Devil was just hearing. Bullet was just flying all over in the car. Glory to God. This is the story of a family who was attacked by unknown gunmen on their way from the east. The God of our Father, Dr. Chris Okafor, brought them out safely. The family came out unhurt. Glory to the God of our Father. Grace Nation. Grace Nation. We are the chosen generation. Grace Nation. We are the chosen generation. Brethren, I'm here to thank specially the God of my Father, Dr. Chris Okafor. I also want to assure you that this exalted altar works. And the God of our Father is a merciful and a faithful God. Yes. It all happened on the 14th of April. We were traveling, I was traveling by, with my entire family, with both my mother, my wife, all my children, traveling for a burial in the east. So as we were going, when we got to Onisha, we passed then going through Inhela, in Wanted to turn at Inhela to go through Asia, Asia village to connect to Olu Unkwere Road because we are going to Abia State. It happens that as we were descending on that Asia Road, we got to a junction. In that junction, if you go straight, it leads to Newi. If you now go right, it now leads to Olu Unkwere Road. So at that particular junction, as we got there, we just saw more than 15 men with gun, AK-47, sophisticated guns, they just opened fire on us. And we're using two vehicles. Well, one of the vehicles was my wife's own, was in the, in the front, where my own, I was driving behind her own car, but my younger brother drove my wife's Jeep. So I saw when they were firing him, and he was trying to dodge, and that place that has very high speed bombs. So he was just jumping the bombs with speed, they were pursuing him, firing him. So when I saw that, I was agitated. I said to myself, do I stop? Do I turn back? Or what do I do? But I just had a voice that said, move on, move on, move on, fire down. So I now fire down and now face them so that I can distract them, you know, distract their focus from the vehicle in the front, which is my wife's own. So when they now saw that I was facing them, they now faced me. In fact, the way they were, were wearing bullets all over, shooting in kaka 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 kaka. They were just hearing. Bullets were just flying all over in the car. One of my family members was injured. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Even two of my sons that were sitting behind me at the back. And those two of my sons were among the children that performed on Daddy's birthday. When children did their presentation, the one that acted as Pastor Sylvester, and that one that acted as um, Pastor Shedrag, they were all by the door side. And those bullets passed through the door side. And I'm surprised that none of the bullets hit them. Wow! It can only be God. Put your hands to Jesus. Praise the Lord. So as we now, as we now were, were, was running, we got to a point close to where they attacked us. They used a very big wood or tree to block the road. What did they do? We have to we have now drive through the bush, enter the bush. After passing the wood, we now came out again on the road and we were still jumping those very high speed bombs. When we now got to a far place, to a safer place, we now saw a warehouse. We now ran into that warehouse. Like that warehouse is, a, is you know, Nigerian Brewery's warehouse. Then when I enter, when we entered there, when they saw us, we entered and they saw what happened to us, they just shut the gate of the warehouse. Okay. Then they now helped us to call a mechanic because the bullet shattered both the radiator, both the fuel tank. And the only lock that we had was that the fuel tank is not an iron fuel tank. Mm -hmm. if, if it was an, an iron fuel tank, the vehicle would have caught, caught fire. It was a plastic fuel tank. And the fuel was just pouring like and we just finished buying fuel tank. At Asaba before, but so the, fire, the tank was still filled up. The, the whole fuel was just pouring, pouring under that hot sun. This happened around 2 p.m., 2 in the afternoon. So when the person that owns the warehouse, the distributor of Nigerian Railway, when he came there, he saw the vehicle and he was asking the, his workers there, who owns this vehicle? 
they are pointing at me. He now said that the person that owns this vehicle, his hands are clean and he's serving a living God. That that God you are serving, keep serving him. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He now said that this is what they experience on that route, almost on daily basis. All these are kidnappers and unknown, and unknown gunmen. They always keep people on that road. In fact, he said that even some people, they, what happened to us? Even one quarter of it did not happen to them, and they recorded casualties, a lot of dead bodies. As we were there, they, they now called mechanic to help us to lose the fuel time because the fuel was just pouring, you know. Then when the mechanic now came, they were trying to lose the fuel time. While we are inside the warehouse, where they need something, we start hearing gunshots again outside. They were shooting sporadically outside. So after like one hour when they left, we now came out and we were asking them what happened. We just saw blood everywhere on the ground. They now said that they saw a coming bus, a commercial bus that was passing. They stopped the bus and asked everybody to come down from the bus. Then they now saw an army man, a uniformed man in the bus. They brought him down. They used rope, tied him round. They started firing on him. They just, they used the bullet. If you see the man, it's like where the butcher, butchers were butchering meat. They used bullet to butcher all his. In fact, the man died a very painful death. And after the man died, they carried his cup, his dead body, and took him away. For when you come there, you only see pool of blood, blood everywhere. So the man was not telling us that we were just going, any God we are serving, that God is a merciful God. That what happened to us, you know? So I'm here to thank the God of my father, Dr. Christo Kafor. He is a merciful and a faithful God. And every seed you saw on this altar, every, both our partnership and everything, it works. It works. I have seen. This is what I, I used to see on television. But I saw it. Celebrate grace in the house.